reach out to me, Instagram, TikTok, visit me in the mental hospital, most likely in 2025. But either way, let's get started. This is The Rob Stern Show. I just like doing some research. All right. Welcome to the podcast. We got Becky Yamamoto. I like jackets. And Al Patel. Son of a preacher man's Indian best friend. Uh, great. Guys, let's get started. This is amnesia. Uh, you secretly have amnesia, and you have to figure out who you are uh, with context clues. In this case, you're being intro to speak at a conference okay. um, inside of a factory, and you're going to have to guess who you are. First one to guess wins. It's in a factory. Okay. In a factory. Let's uh, get a little... A little atmosphere going, classic atmosphere, which is... In a factory. In a factory, or a, I mean, it would just be like people or whatever. They're not really making anything over here, it's just guys standing around. Yeah, yeah, it's just people standing around, but it, you know, you need to make it sound like there's people, is what I'm doing, which is this. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our gathering at the clothing factory. Uh, today, we are honored to host a truly remarkable guest whose influence on history is as significant as their impact on fashion was distinctive. What do you think this is? Go ahead and start guessing. I'm going to keep going. One, oh. I'm going to give you a guess first. And oh, then keep going. Uh, uh, Louis, Louis Vuitton. You want to try one? Oh, Coco Chanel. All right. Uh, known for their commanding presence and strategic genius, this individual, uh, individual revolutionized not only the battlefield, but also the world of style. Oh, the world of style. Who's the... Uh, oh, uh, Tommy Hilfer. Mm. The battlefield. Battle style. Oh, is it the guy who made the Nazi suits or something? No. Uh, no, it's not that guy. Okay. Uh, battlefield. The battlefield, yeah. The world Ulysses of style. Ulysses S. Grant. Okay. <laughs> Gerald Ford. <laughs> With a stature that belied his small frame. Ooh, a tiny. Napoleon. That's right. Yes. It's Napoleon. Yeah. Of course, he's frosh. He's. Oh, he's a fashion icon, though. Um, I didn't know he was a fashion icon. I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> oh, I thought he like put his <laughs> hand in his uh, in his pants. Like, yeah, he put his thing, hand right? in his shirt. That was kind of his yeah, thing. That was his thing. Um, that's stylish. Yeah, that's pretty stylish. I won't do that. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's move forward. This is called Mouse Cop Cat Cop. Okay. Uh, you're detectives interviewing me, a dastardly criminal who likes to play games. I told you I committed a crime, but I won't tell you what the crime is. I will only answer yes or no questions. Now, you have to ask them in your cop style. Oh, up, you're the mouse cop, and uh, Becky, you're the cat cop. Uh, first to figure out the crime wins. If you don't do it in your style, I won't answer the yes or no question. So let's get us uh, set up here, and... Okay. Let me take a run at him first. Well, hold on. Oh, right. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> what, what? what is that? We're being ordered. Oh, okay. You're getting into your. Okay, cool. I hear you're getting into character. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh right? I just said it. Right. Okay, here we go. <sighs> I'm not telling you nothing, coppers. I know what you did. You stole some cheese. You stole some cheese, didn't you? Tell me. No. Oh, damn it. I wish she sold some cheese. Meow, I know what you did. <laughs> now you sit down right now. Meow, I know what you did. <laughs> I know what you did. You, you took my bag of cat food and you ate it all. <laughs> meow. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, meow. Peanut butter. That's what you did. It's all some... <laughs> Are these questions? Peanut butter. <laughs> well, tell me what the peanut butter is. <laughs> Meow. Did you have a weapon? No. Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, meow. Did you murder it? 
No. Did you hide something in the walls? No. I meow, I know what you did. You, you, you uh, stole some things from a construction site. No. Meow. <laughs> he started that fire <laughs> in that pet store. No. He killed my cousin. <laughs> no. Yeah. Did you listen to any of the answers, Olaf, or are you just being a mouse? <laughs> <laughs> You're so into your I'm more a mouse than a cop. <laughs> yeah, you stole the weapon. N- no. Uh, no. Yeah, you said you stole a weapon. Oh, I think I think you said, do you use a weapon? I, you used a weapon. Yeah, yeah, you used a weapon. Yeah, you used a weapon. Yeah, let me think about this. Oh. Let me look into my meow book. Meow. You were creeping with a weapon. Weren't you? You threatened somebody. Mm. Tell me. Mm. Uh, there's too many questions in there. Did you threaten someone? No. Mm. Meow. Did you did you pee on a subway? No. Meow. <laughs> Is your victim still alive? He didn't moiter. Um. Yeah, it, it, what, what you, yes I, or no? Answer the question. He, he, he I answered it earlier when he, he said he didn't he murder didn't anybody. <laughs> Meowder. Do you know the victim? Um. I can't answer that. Oh. oh. Meow. Did you steal somebody's property? <laughs> no. Meow. <laughs> Meow, we're the worst detectives. <laughs> well, you really went. You really went specific, and then you haven't done any broad. You, uh, you only asked a couple of. You broads, didn't steal anything. No. Mm. Meow. And it's not a crime. You're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we're bad detectives. Okay, wait. We we we, we can figure this out. Meow. Did you steal? No stealing. You kidnapped someone. Meow. <laughs> Did you kidnap someone? No. Mm. You got him in a mouse trap somewhere. No. Did you did you do a traffic violation? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> what other crimes are there? <laughs> I saw you with your pen. Yeah. Forging checks. That's you. Oh, meow. No. Meow. Did you? Mm. What other crimes are there? <laughs> Impersonating an officer. That's what we got you. Admit it. No. Impersonating a cat. No. Impersonating. Can't so all you know is murder, <laughs> murder, theft, and impersonations. <laughs> yes. Those are crimes. Those are. <laughs> uh, did you um? <laughs> did you for? Did you uh? Embezzle money. No. Meow. No arson. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I uh. Mm. Maybe I should tell you something. Yeah, but this is not, you guys are really not good at this. We're not good at this. Did you hide a body? No. Yeah. You're a getaway driver. I think you guys seen you. When you do yes and no, right? We go broad, <laughs> like really broad, and then narrow it down. You guys have been very narrow. I can't think of crime. Well, just ask like basic, you know. Did you steal? No. Were you, were you alone doing yes. the crime? Okay. Ah. Uh, did you get an abortion in Texas? No. Oh mm. boy. <laughs> meow. Are <laughs> you alone? Do I just you? Oh yeah. Did you? Did you hurt your spouse? <laughs> that wasn't in character, Olive. <laughs> I just want to solve the crime. <laughs> That's why you wasted too much energy doing the character <laughs> earlier. You didn't play the game. Now you're exhausted. Mm. <laughs> yeah. no, you can't think of any basic crime question, like big. Did you, uh, Speedy, was there a car involved? Mm. What does that mean? Mm. I mean, yes, but that's not significant. <gasps> oh boy, did you did you beat the police on a, a car chase? No. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know crimes, you're detectives. I know, but I only know the big ones like Moido. Okay, we got murder. What else? Stealing. Stealing. Oh. Okay. What other? What other crimes? Fire stuff. Fire stuff. Yeah. Oh, fire. 
Did you burn? You are yeah. I don't hear a mouse asking that. You burn something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Meow! Did you burn a forest? The what? A forest? No. <laughs> All right. Did you be? Did you burn your ex's house? No. Yeah. Mm. No. Again, go broad, <laughs> and then we can. Did you there. burn a personal home? No. Did you burn the American flag? Oh. No. That's a real crime. Oh. Don't go there. <laughs> Did you burn a public building? Yes. Uh oh. Mm. Did you burn the White House? No. Did you burn? You burn? Did you burn Chicago? All of Chicago? No. Public building. Oh, uh, well, I where we? No. A public building. Uh, Did you burn the fire department? No. C- city hall? No. Police department? No. The post office? No. You can ask broader stuff. What is it? Is a place that people like to go? Yes. Oh, they do. Mm-hmm. Was it McDonald's? <laughs> um, no. A restaurant? The Cheesecake Factory. Uh, no. It wasn't a restaurant. No. The library. I already said why, Bowie. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a mouse brain. <laughs> Your brain is just slightly <laughs> small. A little mouse no, brain. Mine's a little speaker, but that doesn't mean you, you have other senses. Was it a, mo- a moral? How did you guys pass the was detective it a moral, exam? A moral crime? <laughs> is it a moral crime? Where? Did yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you point a mall? <laughs> no. Uh, a store? Uh, no, no. A public place? What are the yeah. public places? Well, ask, uh, ask big, uh, bigger questions. Oh. Uh, were there people inside? Uh, yes. Oh, no. Ooh. That's bad. That's cool. No. No. A museum. A museum? Yeah. Oh. Kind of. Kind, kind of? of? Which museum? Museum of Modern Art? <laughs> no, not not a museum, but kind of. Kind of? Kind of. A taxidermy place? No. I don't kind know. Kind of a museum. A museum? Is there, is there art in it? No. Oh. What? What's kind of a museum? Do you have to pay money to go in? Yes. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. An amusement park? No. Oh. A kind of a museum? Was it Disneyland? No. This oh. is a cold case. We should give up. <laughs> I think so. We'll never figure this out. Well, we have to make a podcast to figure this out. You don't even know where it took place. I don't. It's, it's in, oh. What's what? th- was it in California? <laughs> no. <laughs> was it in New York? No. Chicago? In- I don't hear a mouse. Was it in Chicago? <laughs> no. Was it in Europe? Was it no. In- meow. Disneyland? No. I already asked Again, I reiterate the size of my brain. I know your brain's small. Was it in America? Yes. It was in America. Uh-huh. Was it the... What's that thing with the president's face is Mount Rushmore? <laughs> Did you burn? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's going so much longer than it is. I know. Sorry. <laughs> Wash- was it- I, we don't know. Uh, in- I'll say you're in the ballpark. Was it in Washington, D.C.? No. <sighs> uh, oh. Did people die in this fire? Uh, nah, they were fine. What? I don't know. Wait, it's, okay, it's in America. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's kind of a museum. It's kind of a museum. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> baseball Hall of Fame. Was it the Baseball Hall of Fame? What state is it in? <laughs> All right, it's in Missouri. Missouri? Missouri. <laughs> Was it the Orch? Yes, I'm Oh, oh my God. of course. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> You have to go eat out my cat little box now. <laughs> I took a big dump in there. And that's for you. <laughs> um, wow. Those that are, was very tough. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not, I guess it's not their fault. They were hired we to should, be detectives. I feel like a human cop should have gotten it. It's yeah. a big crime. Yeah, I, th- I think 100%. that really if you had a cat, 
and mouth detective, mm -hmm. it would be so frustrating for the person being interviewed. That yeah, they would, right. Like, you would probably just, um, just admit like, to the crime. We were hoping you would just admit yeah, to the crime. It, it, it was getting there. Yeah, I think so. Um, here's my horoscope. Could you guys help uh, interpret it? I'll, I'll read it. Okay. And then each of you can take turns okay. um, interpreting. Um, okay. Is, wow. This is uh, my horoscope. Oh. And... Uh, I like to get interpretations of it, if you don't mind. All right. My horoscope today is, uh, your heart is big enough to hold a whole city. It says, I've got a creative project you I've been working on for a while. Creativity is like a cake. There's a point where it just needs to bake on its own. It's ready to take out. You know what's possible. Your desire to change this month depends on your ability to keep an eye on your tendency to coddle the people you love. Mm. There is no small feat for a, this is no small feat for a person who can let their nostalgia prevent real closeness with people. Let the people you love grow and change without judging you or taking your love away your main challenge right now is to be wary of deceiving others or letting them deceive you destiny is largely a set of unquestioned assumptions things i should do uh sparks back seat speed dial things i shouldn't do rush it tight grip or matching tattoos so take a beat and whenever you're ready just tell me what you think about that um basically that idea you had to build a rowboat from recycled pieces of your home um, is something you should just green light. <laughs> I, I should build a rowboat from recycled pieces of my own. Well, it says a creative project you remember casting. You're assuming I wanted to build a rowboat? Yeah. Okay. Olive? Yeah, I think um, your heart is big enough to hold the whole city, I think. And I. You, you remember that um, that homeless guy that you gave a dollar to? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, yeah, you remember? You gave him a dollar. You guys are like making up stuff that I've said. I just want like a real interpretation. Uh, you want okay. oh. oh. Sorry, I didn't oh. mean to. I'm sorry. Yeah. Take the cake out of the oven. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What it's, does that mean? There's a cake. It's, it's, it's done. I think, I think you've been baking a cake for too long um, and you just need to take it out also you can't eat gluten so just you should get the cake out of the oven and just is it because i did just it. have my birthday yeah so maybe that's why it's mentioning cake i mean meredith made a cake for me yeah i heard um everybody it was great it, yeah that was good cake so, oh yeah you gave the recipe becky i mean i i just uh look at that smile. i found it <laughs> <laughs> and i ate the cake we were both a part it of this it was a great, it was oh, a great piece it. cake yeah wow. we should have saved you a piece becky i'm sorry it's and i okay. submitted your bio to the astrologer here you did yeah I that's why they, it's so accurate oh great coddle the people you love wait this month depends on you this month depends on your ability to keep an eye on your tendency to coddle the people i love so i tend to I give people, I guess, uh, the people I love too much space, maybe? Or, yeah. No, no, or, wait. Or, or I, I, you, I you take care of them too, too much. much. So yeah. you gotta just stop taking care of your friends. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you should offer water on this podcast anymore. I think it's... I think basically... Is that the first step? Like, I shouldn't have given you a seltzer back then? Yeah, I think that's the first step. Is that I coddling? I wouldn't have liked that. Yeah, that would have that would have really. <laughs> but that's the only way we could change and grow. It's funny because it does. It feels like a like a more like a common courtesy for somebody willing to do my podcast. That's not. I think caught. Yeah. You coddle people. I I don't know. I don't see that. You, know. you don't see me as a coddler. No, an over coddler. The way that this is like, yeah. it's like you're over. It seems like they're telling you to over coddle. I think the only person I would do that with is Meredith. And we generally, we take turns probably over coddling the, each other. What's your schedule? What's your coddling schedule like? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> like, what is it like based on certain days of the week? Like who coddles? No, them? no. It's, it's like based on need. Oh, who needs oh, the coddling? Okay. Who seems like they need? And usually it feels like we're always taking turns. That's okay. good. Yeah. So maybe this. Maybe don't give her a seltzer. Yeah. Okay. Maybe let her get the seltzer herself. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> This is what? So who's deceiving you right now? So, like, do you feel like someone's being deceptive towards oh, you in your life? Good question. Um, 
No, I really don't feel like anyone's being. I mean, I'll, I'll fess up. I did want a bottle of water, but I brought my, <laughs> I brought my water bottle with me, so I thought it'd be weird for me to ask you for a bottle of water. Oh, is this all just like seltzer and water related? <laughs> yeah, is that... this is. Oh, okay. Wait, so the first part is about seltzer, then? Oh, that makes sense. Creativity is like a cake. <laughs> Yeah, like a soda cake. You know, like you ever had Irish Maybe soda I should cake? start publishing my podcast. Oh, as a, as, as a seltzer. Wait, as a, as a horse. Oh, wait, I should offer my own seltzer? Yeah, like a branded, a seltzer, branded seltzer. Like a celebrity seltzer. What would your flavors be? Um, ooh. <laughs> what would my flavor of seltzer be? Baseball cap. Well, what, yeah, baseball cap is a flavor. It's like his brand. It's like he wears a baseball cap. Oh, that yeah. taste. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> no, that's something I would do like a blue raspberry or a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Those are your colors. Yeah, blue raspberry sounds good. Yeah, it does. All right, we solved it. Wow, so thank I you guess guys. You get your own seltzer. Well, we didn't get to talk about the matching tattoos, but that's okay. Oh yeah. yeah. What? Um, that's crazy. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Is, is there anything you really are trying to get on yourself to do right now, this week or this month? Mm. You're know, like, ah, oh, I should just do that this month. Uh, to unpack the rest of the boxes from my move. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah. what? I moved. I moved. Oh, uh, you moved recently. Yeah. Recently. Oh, oh. July. You know, this is from 2021. <laughs> I still have stuff. So about you. Yeah. I was like, damn. Um, <laughs> how about you, Becky? Anything? This week? Yeah. Ugh. Or this month? Just something you're like, ah, just do that. I need to get rid of clothing. Okay. Great. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Becky, let's do this. Why don't you um, give yourself a little bit of an inspirational speech about um, getting rid of your clothing? Self-inspirational speech. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you get rid of things, the weight of all those clothes can help you fly. Do you remember who you were 10 years ago? I do, living in piles of clothing, like a little rat. <laughs> well, you're no longer that little rat. Wait. You're not. <laughs> you're no longer that rat. You are a, a woman. <laughs> a woman. A woman. <laughs> Only the essentials. Preach. <laughs> You can be light on your feet. Uh-huh. Imagine having to wear every single piece of clothing you own. You know what would happen to you? You'd be crushed by your materialism, you bitch. <laughs> How many shirts do you need? <laughs> How many t-shirts does one stupid whore need? Okay, wow. Inspirational. <laughs> it's a, it's a tough love. Five, bitch. <laughs> Chill out. Listen, we all gain weight, and you're not going to get back to those skinny clothes that you used to have, lady. Uh, It's time to say goodbye to those shirts from (laughs) from five years ago. I mean, come on, lady. You're not going to lose that 15 pounds you keep talking about. Uh, Just move on. Move on. Get rid of it. People have seen you in that shirt already. (laughs) I mean, give it up. Oh, my God. So inspiring. <laughs> anyway, I love you, girl. <laughs> Peace out. Oh, my God. Wow. So inspiring. That was great. Um, That'll inspire me. <laughs> uh, let's listen to some intros from other podcasts. Really oh. quick, um, this is the uh, the Soup Sisters. So, <laughs> the Soup Sisters. Let's take a listen. Martha, <laughs> nice split pea on a Sunday morning oh. in the mountains. There's nothing like that. What soup are you souping today, Sue? I'm souping a chicken noodle with meatballs in it. Because I like a little edge. <laughs> Welcome to Soup the Soup Sisters. Sisters. <laughs> I'm with Sister Sue. I'm with Sister Martha. We're 
the Soup, Soup Sisters. Sisters. We, I figured that. Soup isn't just for the hot, cold, cold weather. Ooh. What are your hot weather soups, Soup? My hot weather soups are chicken noodle. Oh, again? <laughs> wow. <Hot. laughs> All right, I'm going to stop this podcast. Wow, they were like... Like chicken noodle would be like the first soup they cover and they'd never cover it again. It's like such a, I mean, I guess you it's could a come classic. back to it. What's your favorite <laughs> summer soup? Your favorite summer soup was chicken noodle? That's just like, why even have the conversation? So That's you like why a, you have to tune in to find out why it's a good yeah. summer soup. It's a good summer soup. <laughs> I mean, you could eat that year round. Um, all right, this is uh, Avoiding Gullibility with Jan and Craig. Avoiding Gullibility with Jan and Craig. I got your tail. <laughs> what? No, give it back, give it back. I was just kidding. Oh, my God. Avoiding gullibility. How do I do that? <laughs> it's harder than you think. Are there three easy steps? Uh, there's certainly four. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> I'm going to stop this. <laughs> There's four steps. It's just a, a whole... Po- they have t- they have a- it says here they have 300 episodes. Yeah. I'm going to cut... This was one of the early episodes. Let's cut to a later one and see if they're... I mean, they, they got to come up with a different way to address this. All right. Welcome to episode 314. We're talking about step three, part one, article B. <laughs> oh, okay. Section C. All right, I'm going to stop this. I'm gonna stop. All right, so that makes more sense. Okay. Anyway. Broken down. It's, it's like a much it's, more it's complex like, process. It's like legalese. It's just, yeah. it's legalese. Um, uh, this is called non-ethnic with two white folks. Uh, Let's take a listen to that. Uh, non-ethnic with two white folks. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Hi. I'm great. What's going on in your non-ethnic life? <laughs> uh, luckily, everything is pretty bland. Yeah? What kind of soup are you eating? Well, if we're talking about soup, I'm going to stop this. Chicken noodle. <laughs> of course, they eat chicken noodle soup. Um, all right, this is uh, Eating Fancy with Chef Rona and Big Corn Cob. Chef Rona <laughs> and Big Corn Cob. Let's all take a listen. Eating Fancy. Big Corn Cob here. <laughs> <laughs> and with and Martha, what? You're Chef Rona. Oh, Chef Rona. <laughs> I'm Corn Cob, and we're here to eat fancy <laughs> with each other. My favorite place to eat fancy. Where are you eating Corn Cob? I'm eating at Spagos. Oh my God! What do you get at Spagos? I'm getting spaghetti. The spaghetti with the caviar. And then I'm washing it down with a whole bottle of champagne. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's an expensive meal. Hey, Corn, corn Cob uh, and uh, Chef Let's Rona. take a call. This is your, uh, your producer. Yeah, oh, yeah, producer. We got a call in the Producer line. Phil, yep. uh, let's, let's hear a call. All right. Hey, uh, am I on, on, on the air? Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you should. Hey, right. Corn right. Cob, hey, turn, turn your radio down. Oh, turn your radio sorry, down. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay. okay, hey, Corn Cob and uh, Chef Rona, how you doing? I'm We're great. hungry. Oh, fantastic. Hungry. Hey, I just, I just, a long time listener. Uh, I just wanted to call in and ask, you know, you're always eating at these real expensive places. What What do you guys do for money? I, I, I don't understand. I mean, Spago, I mean, that's got to be like. Uh, $150 or more per person. Independently wealthy. Oh, I make money off this podcast. There's no way this podcast makes enough of you being it. Yeah, I'm on the, we're on the Joe Rogan Network. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I guess I never really paid to that. So I'm, you're just making money. We're making money. We sell, well, we get ads uh, they, from the, uh, the restaurants that we eat at. Mm-hmm. That's how we do it. And I'm independently wealthy. And, she, and Corn Cob is independently wealthy. <laughs> gotcha. Well, anyways, I, I lied. I, I work with the IRS, so oh, no. uh, you'll be hearing from us. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Does independently wealthy also mean... <laughs> they don't know your real name, Corn Cob. Don't worry. You're safe. I didn't pay my taxes. <laughs> wow, they got caught. Uh, this is the last one. This is Fishing for Love with Sailors Bobo and Troy. Sailors Bobo and... Troy. And that's going to be a little bit of there. Hi. I'm Bobo. Hey, Bobo. It's, 
it's, it's tough out there looking for someone to love. Yeah, I mean, especially since we're out here fishing all the time. There's really not a lot of people. There's a lot of fish in the sea, but not a lot of people to date out here. I know. You'd think that somebody would love to join us on the sea. On the sea of love. And the literal sea as well. The sea. Oh, the sea. The, the, yes. Should we pull into port, Bobo? Yeah, I guess so. Let's see if we can find some ladies. Yeah. Or men or whoever. Whoever will love us. What do we have to offer, though, Bobo, other than fish? Well, you've got a 401k. I do have a 401k. That you haven't tapped into. I, but I'm not, I wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm too young, Bobo. Fair, but you could offer that as, it is, as something. Oh, 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 no, someone's behind us. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving. We're, we're moving. This is our fi- let us fish. We're looking for love. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a handsome sailor over there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. There's a lot of handsome people on that tugboat. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, how, how hey, you uh, doing? This is my friend Bobo here. Are you here. single? Are you single? <laughs> well, it's funny you ask. That's why I pulled up next to your boat. I saw. Fine looking sailor, <laughs> such as yourself. Is it me or her? Uh, Bobo. Or both of us. Bobo. Bobo. It's of me. Course. Yeah, I've been listening to your podcast. <laughs> How did you know that was a boat? <laughs> what? I I just I I, I you talk you get I context clues. You oh. you geolocated us too. That's well, amazing. Yeah, I mean, was it my dress that flew out the back of our? Door? Yeah, you're the, you're, you're the only sailor on the seas that wears a dress while she fishes. Um, but uh, anyways, would you like to? Go on a date sometime? I'd love it. Oh, fantastic. Go on, Bobo. I'll fish by myself. I, oh, my God. Oh, right now? Wow. Right now, go on this date right now. Don't don't pass up this opportunity. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to stop the part. So, so that was the... Oh, that was the last episode. That was episode. the last episode. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, so Bobo found love. <laughs> Bobo found love Poor live Troy. on the podcast. I know. Um, Troy's just on the boat by himself. Uh, this is something I've wanted to try. This is pre-date announcements. So uh, I do different pre-announcements, similar to a pre-flight announcement, uh, a pre-date announcement. Mm. So just for somebody who's about to go on a date, let's imagine a gentleman's getting ready and y'all are giving him the uh, um, uh, the the pre-date announcements as he's getting ready for the date. Let's uh, let's try this out. All right, I gotta put on my tie, and it's gonna be a fancy. Hi everyone, hi everyone. This is your date concierge speaking. Uh, let's just make sure and go ahead if we are preparing to a date that we check our nose hairs real quick. Check your nose hairs first before checking anyone else's. Uh, and you want to get there and uh, clip them out a little bit. There you go. Don't forget the other nostril. That's good. That's good. Uh, is that what you're going to wear? This bit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was a trip. I don't know what I don't know what I wanted, but that was. Not <laughs> I was Look, you got to try. I got to try things. You got to try. You got to try. try it. I really appreciate you uh, falling on the sword there, all up, and yeah. you really you really tried, and I didn't have anything. I was like, I don't know what the hell this. Is. <laughs> and Becky, you I went you sure. went to another place. No, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to, uh, if it was a joint, because you know, like when a free. Pr- uh, oh yeah, I guess I should have said. Uh, let's, uh, oh, yeah. All right, so uh, Becky, why don't you try talking? Why don't you give it? Yeah, give, give it. A give it. A shot. Get this guy what ready. Oh, oh, this is loud. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, first, uh, oh, first, <laughs> you're gonna want it. This fly is down. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. She's <laughs> doing <laughs> Um, attention, attention, S- you one passenger, <laughs> you date passenger, go ahead, go ahead and take a shower, please. Uh-huh. You're going to want to take a shower and put on deodorant. Okay. Please, please, <laughs> no smoking. <laughs> no smoking. No one likes like a plan. that. Yeah. Also, get, and don't disable the thing in the thing because nobody likes that either also change your underwear because you know for 
<laughs> Everybody at the restaurant. Um, also, make sure you have cash. That way, when you go to the strip club after the horrible date. Oh, good call. <laughs> yeah. Single. You don't want to pay the ATM fees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, great, Becky. Thank you so much for trying this, too. I'm really good. Yeah, maybe I'll figure that bit out. <laughs> You're really good at inspirational speech. <laughs> Um, That's what I've been told. Let's uh, <laughs> let's read uh, the pilot to Jack, uh, to Reacher. Have you have you watched Reacher either of you? No, what's no. That? Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher, okay, a new no, show no, on no. Amazon. It's been out uh, Wait, a couple of seasons. Wait, who's the star of that? Uh, I'm gonna forget his Some name. He's fantastic, though. Alan something. Yeah, Alan uh, starts with an R, but he's he's fantastic. So let's. Uh, this is the uh, pilot. He's not famous. This is the pilot. So each of you has the script over there oh. and. Uh, <coughs> Alep, you're going to um, read the stage directions, okay. and you'll just do all the acting Okay. that's on the script. So. Oh. Go ahead, Alep. Intro. Kind of a museum. Daytime. Jack Reacher watches, walks in, observing the paintings. He approaches a distressed woman. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, I'll just let her read. Okay, sorry. Sorry, you Uh, just read the stage directions. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. She wipes tears from her eyes. You don't look fine. I said I was fine. I said I was fine until I saw your face. (laughs) The security guard walks over because she's shouting. Um, ma'am, you gotta keep it down. Um, you're really... (laughs) Disrupting the museum vibe. <laughs> Disrupting the museum vibe. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got this, sir. I'm going to take care of this woman. The sec- okay. <laughs> the security guard gets in Jack's face. You want to take care of this woman? You got to get through me first. <laughs> All right. I guess that's what we're doing now in this museum. <laughs> the rest of the patrons start shushing. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Shush. <laughs> they wrote out a bunch of shushes on the screen. That's great. I'm going to... Listen, I don't like to fight. I'm going to take this lady out of the museum. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go with this guy. I'm okay, everyone. I'm okay. I just need someone to love me. (laughs) Cut to bar. Jack and Mysterious Lady sit at the bar, sipping whiskey. That was pretty sexy what you did back at the museum for me. (laughs) (laughs) What did you do? Yeah. I just saw a woman in distress, and I knew she needed a man. The bartender gets in Jack's face. (laughs) Is there a problem over here? (laughs) (laughs) No, there's no problem. Unless you're a problem. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to need you two to get the hell out of here. But first, give me my money. (laughs) Why is he starting this down? All right, here's $100. Oh, my God. Cut to the park, Jack. This woman are still walking. (laughs) That's really sexy what you did back there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they approach an Italian ice vendor. Um, uh, we'd like two <laughs> of the lemon ice. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, no problem. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. When I say Italian ice, I mean <laughs> Italian ice for two and love but <laughs> uh. Jack gets in the Italian ice guy's face. Oh, Jack got in the face. Are you trying to hit on my woman? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, didn't Jack yeah. just meet her? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I was trying to hit on her only because I could tell that you two loved each other. Oh. Uh. That sounds like a bunch of shit to me. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop there. That was great, guys. I That's really, a, I really enjoyed it. Pretty good pilot episode. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's a great show. You got to watch I'll it. Watch it. Yeah. Is, is it just like that? It's a lot. It's pretty I close. mean, that was pretty close. They didn't change much from the pilot. Um, so, uh, this is called Change the Subject. This game is called Change the Subject. No, let's do a different game. What? Hey, that's hey, hey, got you. Well, this good. Guy, this guy. Nice, nice. Uh, get out. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Becky. Oh. Don't show all up. I'll look. Oh, I won't oh. look. Oh, this is you. Oh, uh, all right. So we're gonna be at a party, and you're stuck talking to me, and I am awful. Oh. I keep bringing up stuff that you got to change the subject fast. Uh, so we'll see how fast you can do it. Whoever changes the subject first gets the point. We'll start with round one. So here's what I think uh, about Israel and Pal- Palestine. I mean, first of all, oh, why do you we- know? Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh-huh. Um, you're talking about being somewhere else. So I was actually in Mexico, oh, and I had this wonderful, fantastic ex- experience. That's a point for oh. Becky. <laughs> Olive, that was go that was really. I want to hear what the guy wanted to say. I know that was like <laughs> that was like a maybe he had a good. That was like a master class, <laughs> Becky. That was great. All right, here we go. Round two. I mean, I don't have a problem with any like religion in particularly. However, how do you uh, feel about have, uh, what's up? Are you a science guy though? I know you're a religion guy, but are, are you a science guy? Uh, I. I Guess I guess I don't know what 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 you mean. Well, by that. I mean people are developing all this science and artificial intelligence and things like that. All right, Olive gets the points. Wait, so <laughs> could I interrupt over him? No, I think I think whoever is like as long as that you're as weird. long as it's a real ch- subject change. Oh, okay. Okay. Which you you both did masterfully. Round three. Okay. Yeah, money. I mean, what can you do? I, you, I pers- a nice way to save money actually uh-huh. is to make your own crafts and stuff and make your space Brilliant. beautiful. Oh, Becky. Amazing. It's, Round four. Oh, this is so <laughs> fast. This is really tight. This is fast. so fast. Okay. Round four. So I got back from the doctor and he just <laughs> basically left me a message that was, I mean, I don't want to get too graphic, but... Uh, you know what's really pain. graphic? This graphic novel that I read. Oh. Uh, oh. Called uh, 1984. You ever read the 1984 oh, yeah. graphic novel? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, it's 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 uh, uh, great it's, job, Olive. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> All right, round five. Here we go. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Um. So, anyways, I was looking on the news, and I guess there's riots again. I mean, what's uh. with these people, right? I think that uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna break stuff, why break stuff that isn't you know that you don't well, own? Speaking or of breaking, like, did you see that? Uh, did you see that scene in Breaking Bad where they throw the pizza on the roof? Fantastic job, Allah. I don't remember okay. that. Oh, that's good. He throws uh, a pizza. Uh, Becky, you are falling behind. Just I know. Yeah. Round six. Give yourself a beat, and here we go. Now I don't talk about this stuff normally, but uh, me and this girl the other night, I can't even the stuff we were doing. Did she get your heart rate up? Uh, <laughs> yeah, did she get my heart? You got rate a up? you got a Fitbit? You you should track it. It's you know you can see. Great you job, can see how, Damn. God damn. I'm having a hard time. Wait. I mean, you're both very good. Too Alip nice, is nice. Alip has turned it up to eleven here. All right, let's go. <laughs> Round seven. seven. Round seven. Okay, geez. All right. Uh, um. You know, I know we're all friends with the guy, but Mike. He's, oh, you want some of these tofurkeys that are going around here? <laughs> um, this waiters come. You want a tofurkey? It's it's a. I think this is all vegan menu here or something. I'm gonna give it to you, Olive. <laughs> that was that was actually pretty good. <laughs> tofurkey. Yeah, Olive had to bring up the rise of plant based diets and their nutritional benefits. Uh, okay, round eight. Let's see if you can get one, Becky. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Who wrote this stuff? Okay. Um, I mean, everybody's going through stuff. Me, myself, I'm, uh, I'm actually getting oh, divorced. Oh, me, my, myself, and I. Uh-huh. You know what's funny? So, you know, uh, <laughs> De La Soul kind of has, like, a jazz <laughs> influence in there. Maybe. Oh, you're talking so me, myself, and I, the De La Soul yeah. song. Got it. Okay. And, like, you know. All right, I'll give that to you. Oh, man. <laughs> I was just waiting for it to come in. <laughs> oh, me, myself, and I. What? <laughs> <laughs> you I'm stroke? really good. I'm really good at that. Um, oh, boy. That was great. Uh, all right, round nine. Here we go. We're almost done. Um, 
So uh, yeah, my uh, daughter was driving and um, she uh, ran over a oh. man. You think she's she's maybe feeling tired because she's not getting enough of like magnesium and stuff? Like her <laughs> kids are not sleeping that much and because sometimes their diets are not good, they're not getting the right amount of magnesium. I'll give it to you, Olive. That's, I mean, that's a wild. I mean, all right, last uh, last round, round ten. <clears throat> oh, okay. uh, so I heard Shelly and him were in the bathroom together. And I I, think I was in the bathroom with them. <laughs> they're both going to leave and start their own company. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, oh, they're really? going to start. They're doing a startup. They're going to leave uh, the accounting firm. All right, that we're all of, that's, wow. you really you really clobbered wow, back here. Good. I'm a good interrupter. That was very good. Oh, wow. Both of you were very, very good. I'll, I'll I, just I, went yeah, to another level. I think I level. got. I got. I had a hard time. Um, you did not. Nice. I thought you did nice. great. Your your your, your, your the, the points you got were very, very good points. Thanks. Guys. Me, myself, and I was <laughs> a so crazy. Read. I don't even know what was <laughs> like you happening. Got, you in the got conversation. to it. You got to it. There was. I was about to stop you, but then you said Dale Soul, and I was like, I get it. Okay. Um, Jazz. Awesome. Anything annoying you this week? Annoying Ooh. me. That's it's a good one. I have like this bug bite on my shoulder that's not going away. Oh. So I've, uh, in my heart, I feel like maybe there's like spider eggs inside my ew. shoulder. Oh, yeah. I don't you're think like, that's really the case. I know, but, but you're like, you're like, but it's like, why is this bug bite, why is this bug bite taking yeah. so long? Totally. Um, well, I can actually answer that for y'all because the mosquito that bit you wrote a uh, song. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, so let's take a listen to it. Obviously, this is the part I cut out. Oh, God. I hope he's not gloating. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's do a quick record. And this is going to be a little bit of pop music. That's what I want to hear. We really have fringe music tapes. You're listening to the mosquito yeah. music now? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, I listen to everything, so. All right, let's take a listen. You listen to Frog Hop? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that was going well, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. That's pretty upbeat. Uh-uh. You were having a picnic. Friends. You were eating some food and I said, I'm hungry too. <laughs> you got blood, blood, blood under your skin. And I see I wanna have some of your blood. I Wow. It's really on the nose. Yeah, really just yeah. went right there. Um, yeah, crazy. Uh, but I'll, you actually wrote a response to the... Yes, yeah, I did. So I let's, did. Let's, let's I was lying about that. not knowing yeah, about the song. Yeah, you did know about the song. You're a liar. You wrote another pop song as well, so let's take a listen to that. This is all up. Uh, response to Mosquito. I'm... Uh, Stop stealing all of my blood You got to stop stealing all of my love Because my blood belongs to God Stop stealing all of my blood I said stop stealing all of my blood Because my blood runs for Christ, oh, wow. Christ alone, I am bathed in his blood and it's not for you to suck. 
Wow, Alip, I didn't see so you. You took the religious. It's route. a Christian. Yeah, it's a yeah. Christian. Oh, I didn't know that was. It's a Christian pop. Is that, song. Is yeah. that a recent life change? Is that something where? Uh, no, I I've been I moved uh, a little bit north, and there's a lot of Christian rock. Uh, oh, you just radio, like you so just I, like the music, the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm okay. trying to I'm trying north, to go pivot. You mean like in heaven? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. North, <laughs> north, north heaven. closer to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, awesome guys, thank you so much for doing the podcast. Let's uh, do this. Why don't you tell me? where we can find you online. Uh, you can find me. You can't find me. I'm, I'm unfindable. I'm on Instagram. You can watch me and do my shenanigans. It's uh, all up in your face. A-A-L-A-P. You know how to spell in your face. It's all one word. I'm on Instagram. Bexy Ams. <laughs> Bexy Ams on Instagram. That's it. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and of course, I'm Rob Stern, and this has been the <laughs> Rob Stern Show. Rob Stern Show. Rob Stern Show. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's angry. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. Oh, oh, oh. The Rob Stern Show. His name is Stern, but he is nice. His name is Rob, but he doesn't steal. What is this, a web of lies? The show is a web of lies.